Bill Daly seems to be everywhere all at once. On the lakes and mountains, in the sky flying across country, or teaching his own student pilots. At night, he might be outside in the Nevada countryside photographing the universe. These are his picks. The next day, back in his home electronics lab, making custom computer chips, or just inventing things. Like this open-sourced 3D printable ventilator he gave freely to hospitals during the COVID-19 pandemic. His kitchen has a drawer filled with Red Bull to keep him going. He also photographs gazelles and crocodiles and eagles. And when he's at work, he's the chief scientist at NVIDIA and the mind behind groundbreaking computer processing technologies that power AI. Growing up in Silver Spring, Maryland, Bill Daly's early life went exactly as you might suspect. He loved math and science so much, he quit high school early because he'd exhausted all the advanced classes. I actually wound up getting my high school diploma after my sophomore year in college when I sent my transcript back to my principal and circled the courses that he should give me credit for, and he agreed. By the mid-1980s, Daly had become a researcher working on a computer technology revolution, a new way to speed up CPUs called parallelism. If you think of a classical CPU as one person working through a list of 10 math problems, parallelism might be 10 people, 10 CPUs, each tackling one of those 10 problems. Combining many chips into one big processor promised to really speed things up. I was working hard on parallel computing, figuring the whole world was gonna embrace it. Daly couldn't have been more wrong. In the 1980s and 90s, the speed of standard CPUs was doubling with each new generation. A computer purchased in 1993 might be twice as fast as the 1991 model. The PC industry simply didn't want to invest in the infrastructure needed for parallelism, not when it could just keep on making faster chips. By 2005, the PC industry could no longer make faster chips. Chip makers had reached a material speed limit dictated by the laws of physics. After decades of obscurity, Daly's groundbreaking work emerged as the way forward, allowing the stalled computing industry to continue advancing. But by then, he was already on course to transforming computing a second time. When a CPU processes data, it has to go somewhere. Usually, it gets stored into memory. With parallelism, it was suddenly possible to create CPUs that process data faster than memory can store it. For some chip designers, this represented a limitation. Daly saw things differently. While a professor at Stanford in the early 2000s, Daly wondered about situations where data didn't have to be stored, like the generation of pixels for a frame of video. Information processed in a chip, then sent directly to a display where it flashes across the screen and is forgotten. Daly helped bring these ideas into reality with a new invention called stream processing. And that really grew into GPU computing. Stream processing marked the birth of the modern graphics card and the billion dollar industries that depend on it. By 2009, Daly joined the world's largest GPU maker, NVIDIA, as chief scientist. By then, GPUs had massively accelerated architecture, engineering, gaming, simulations, 3D animation and visual effects. And yet, just around the corner, lay one of the most disruptive technological advances in modern history. With thousands of parallel processor cores, stream processing GPUs are perfect neural network number crunchers, a foundational technology directly responsible for enabling the AI revolution. Today, AI shapes nearly every industry, from entertainment to energy, healthcare to education, Daly envisions a world where innovations in hardware, together with more efficient AI, make problem solving more sophisticated, where bold engineering lifts entire fields, reducing barriers and expanding human potential. I really enjoy what I do. I found that I get enjoyment by working with really smart people on really hard problems. That's the best thing there is.